Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? It's a beautiful day today and we have very good amount of sunshine. But there's been a bit of some fluctuations, but it doesn't really matter because we're trying to prep up for an output test between two charge controllers. So if you come over here, I'll show you the charge controllers that we're using today. We're using the, um, pretty much, we're using MOST charge controller. It's a brand new MOST charge controller. All right, we also have the Growart. Growart is also brand new. So we wanna know what's gonna happen if the two of them are subjected to the same situation, same amount of sunshine, same solar panels, what the energy conversion rate is going to be. You know, so I'm uh, really very interested to find out that. All right, so I'm trying to screw it to the board so that we can pretty much start this output test. All right, so we're trying to do the connections here so that we can start. So we have all of this, um, each of the um, charge controller, this is gonna be connected to one battery. So the batteries are here. Uh, this is the battery that we intend to use. Uh, this is 220 amps by 12 volts, same thing as the other one, 220 by 12 volts. So what we have done is to try to deplete the battery a little bit uh, to ensure that we have uh, a free flow because we're using the batteries essentially as a load. So it's important that um, it's depleted a little bit so that all the energy that we're harvesting from the solar panels can go into the battery. So there are two of them. So the solar panel is going to be connected to one battery and one charge controller. So there's actually no excuse about, oh, because it's the same charge controller, because it's the same battery, because it's the same solar panel, you know, no excuses whatsoever. So we want to test the strength of these two charge controllers, given the same situation and condition and environment, what is going to happen, all right? So we're doing the connections right now, basically. All right, to ensure that everything is all cut out the way it should be. Um, we are, of, of course, placing the solar panels here on this um, metal racks to be able to get the best yield of the sun. So the sun is completely down at the moment. All right, so we're waiting for the sun to rise up again. So these are the solar panels that we're going to use. All right, so these are two 465 watt solar panels. Uh, the two of them so we have two pieces of this solar panel as you can see there's two of them here all right so that's essentially what we're going to use to be able to push the energy into the charge controllers that will essentially help us see what's going to happen so if you stick around you pretty much see what is going to happen but in case you haven't subscribed guys this is the only way that you support uh, this great work that we're doing always remember that okay so we'll appreciate if you can take your time to click on the subscription button don't forget to comment don't forget to share and do not forget to like we're about to start are you ready stick around because i'll be right back all right guys so we have the sun now so the sun is getting down the solar panel so why not start Okay, so don't forget it's a head-to-head -head between the MOS charge controller 100 amps and the Grower charge controller. It's also 100 amps charge controller. So we want to put it head-to-head -to, -head to see exactly what's going on right here. So if you guys are ready, we are ready to see what the output level is. So if you can come with me, let me show you what we are getting at the moment, okay? Grow at 318, most is 345. Grow at 324, most 345. Grow at 3, 326, most 314. All right, so that's the first part of the output test done. <laughs> All right, are you guys surprised about what's going on? Um, you can see that uh, looks like most is um, winning this particular first round over the grow art. So what we are gonna do as always, which is a tradition is to ensure that um, there's no particular exposure of sun as in talking about where the solar panels are, is giving any of the charge controller an undue uh, advantage. So we're gonna switch the solar panels. We're gonna put this other one where this other one used to be, but we definitely can do that uh, from the back of the panel by switching the cables at the back. So let's get to the cables at the back. All right, so the cables are pretty much switched right now. So let's see what the output level is gonna be. If you can come with me, let's check it again and see for ourselves the energy as it's coming in real time into the charge controller 
down to the precision meters and of course down to the battery so let's check it out oh yep Watts 324 most 339 Watts 324 most 338 Watts 323 most 337 Watts 319 315 316 320 most is 336 okay so regardless of wherever the solar panel is the most charge controller seems to be winning the grow out in terms of energy conversion because we're seeing more energy coming out from the most uh, but not so much but a little bit <laughs> you know in the neighborhood of like 10 watts 15 watts and thereabouts so that's a difference we've been noticing and it's quite steady even when we had to flip the solar panels on the reverse positions okay so i'm pretty much surprised you know uh, but before before we conclude, let's do the low light performance. For the low light situation, Growad is 81, 82. Most is 86. Growad is 83. Most 85. Growad 79, 80. Most 84. Growad 78. All right, fellows, the output test is completely done. And from what we've seen so far, I don't know how that happened because in this part of the world, Growat seems to be rated more than the most, but that's not what we're seeing right here because we're basically trying to go beyond what we know, what we've been told and what the impressions are about certain types of charge controllers or solar components congratulations to most seems like the most charge controller did a better job today than the grow up thank you guys so very much for being part of this if you haven't subscribed always remember that's how you support this work that we're doing we will appreciate if you can take your time to click on that subscription button all right we would appreciate it so very much don't forget to comment don't forget to like do not forget to share see you guys in the next video ciao laters